giant curling rods. Will they work on my completely dead and straight hair? Let's find out. I found these one inch curling rods at Ross. And I was really excited when I saw them because I really want to get the big curl effect that I see some people achieve. And I'm hoping this is gonna do it. I am halfway through a hair wash cycle right now. So it's actually not a great time to be doing this. However, I have to have pictures taken for my new job tomorrow. So I decided to try it out. It just dawned on me that it's possible that this won't work at all and will be atrocious. I'm really not sure what I would do in that situation. Probably just get it wet. For those of you that are new here, oops. On all of my dry sets, I use Motion's setting lotion. This one's actually called styling lotion, foam styling lotion. My name is Shani and I am an aspiring housewife who loves all things vintage. Oh, it's the one thing I hate about having really, really, really long hair. It's actually really hard to wrap. Much better if you can keep the tension even the entire time you're wrapping it. If you have a friend who will do this for you, that's even better. know how I'm supposed to close these off. Oh. Built-in facelift. No, that's not good. I'm not gonna sleep like that. Maybe I should have done the back first. Yeah. It's something. It's gonna do something. So my hair is absolutely bone straight. Like, you see how straight it is? Yeah, when I get out of the shower, I brush it. That's all I have to do to make it very, very straight. But that also means that it doesn't hold a curl. At least it didn't until I discovered curl sets. This is, you gotta come forward. Oh, just pinch it really hard. Oh, stay. Stay. Anywho, hair is bone straight and actually has never held a heated curl my entire life. A couple of years ago when I was looking into how to be a vintage housewife, I came across pin curls. I had done them once before as a teenager. I applied so much gel that when I took them out, I looked like Missy from Bring It On. They were just gelled dreadlocks. I don't even want to call them curls. So I decided to give them a shot and it worked out really nicely. So for the last couple of years, I test out different curl types on my hair. I've done pillow rollers and pin curls. Every time I document it, it's really floppy and hard to close. I don't know what this tension's gonna do, but it's here. See, that's gonna make a wonky bump. I've done soft bun, but I didn't film that one, unfortunately. And the ones that I've done, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's all of them that I've done. So I haven't done a ton of them, but this is a lengthy process. Ooh, let me turn around. Pro tip, make sure you put your pajamas on before you put your pin or curl set in. You do not want to be lifting anything over the top of it. If you want to start doing curl sets, make sure you add some shoulder workouts to your routine. This will definitely test you. All right, so it looks like I am getting four one inch rods in tonight. forget your bonnet to top it all off. Good morning. My bottom curl was really loose. It was pulling a section of my hair in the middle of the night. So I did unravel part of it and you can kind of see it's a little bit lopsided and only curly on the one side. I am actually tremendously happy with the curl quality here. I decided to do my vintage look, which is kind of like faux victory rolls. Victory rolls are one that I'm still practicing and I'm not very good at. They take me quite a bit of time to get them correct. But with this hairstyle that I do, it gives kind of the illusion of victory rolls, but is much quicker to go up. I've linked the short with this hairstyle in the description down below, but if you would like a full tutorial on it, please let me know in the comments.
super sad panda status the curls fell like a lot so usually after just one day i would try to preserve them and pin them up again and sleep on them with them pinned up but with how little there is left i don't even think it's worth it so i'm just gonna brush them out and tomorrow will be whatever tomorrow is a couple things that might have happened my hair was already a little dirty before I started this curl set, so I'm sure that that plays a factor in how well it was able to set. I might have done not enough of a curling rod either. My hair might take better if I did five or six instead of four. The other factor is that since I did it on top of my head, I wasn't using the sides very tight, but then it was tightening in the middle too much. So the way that I wrapped it was probably a contributing factor too. I would be really interested to see what my hair looks like if somebody else wrapped it and can stand like two feet away from me to start it. <laughs> but I did really like the way that it turned out to start with. They were really cute. I'm not giving up on them. They might end up being one of my favorite ones. I think I just have to play with it a little bit. Next time I'm gonna try it not halfway through my hair wash cycle. I think I can recommend them. Gotta work out some kinks, but I am happy with how the results are looking now. Next, to see if Kayla Lovers would do my hair at all. Watch this video. 